All right, how's it going, folks? It's me, Tangosis, coming at you with an hour review. Today we're checking out Ratchet and Clank, Rough Apart. And oh my goodness, folks, I've certainly been looking forward to this one. I'll go ahead and tell you that. This is one of the first games I was interested in for the PS5. You see, yeah, well, now I got my PS5. You can probably guess it already, but yeah, I picked up Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. Got myself a platinum trophy, absolutely enjoyed the game, and now we're going to go ahead and review it. I should probably also add this is the first time I'm actually reviewing and working on a video on the PS5 Share Factory Studio, so if the audio is a bit funky or whatever, that's probably because I've first time using this, you see, so with that all said, let's go ahead and hop on right into review. So for a first positive point here, the gameplay itself is absolutely brilliant. From the platforming to the Wii explore exploration to the puzzles and all that other fun stuff. I tell you folks, I've just had quite a good time with the whole gameplay, I'll tell you that. Our next positive point here, as you'll be seeing quite shortly, the guns and weaponry are just so darn fun, like real talk. There's quite a lot of weaponry in this game, and I tell you folks, there's definitely got up something on it for everyone, like real talk. The next positive point here is that the story itself now is actually quite interesting enough. Kept me interested enough to get the game all completed and all that, so I definitely thought that the story was quite interesting, to be honest. The next positive point here is the accessibility options. While I don't think I showed any in the actual gameplay footage here, whenever you start the game you do have the option for all the different accessibility options, such as enemy damages, whatever you want to be invincible, or whatever. As I said before, I do like that more games are doing the accessibility features, and I'm hoping to see more games do it in the future, so I can definitely say I'm appreciative of the fact that most games these days are now starting to include the accessibility options, so I just wanted to throw that in here real quick as another positive point. And of course, now to the last one, Rivet is awesome. That, that's a, that's the last positive point. I absolutely like her, but she was really cool. So with all that, let's go ahead and look at the negatives. I'm going to be completely honest, from a negative, it's probably going to depend on your mileage and whether or not you want to upgrade specific weaponry or not. But I felt some of the guns were either performing very well or not well enough. As I said there, the weaponry can all be upgraded and stuff, so your mileage may vary. It could have just been a matter if I just didn't upgrade that specific gun well enough, or it was used not, not as efficient as it could be, but I just wanted to bring that up here um, real quick, just in case. But as I said, your mileage may vary, so just keep that in mind, folks. As for the neutral areas, there honestly isn't any neutral areas that I can think of for today's review. But aside from that, that's pretty much about it for today's review, folks. So this is me, Tangosis, and the game, of course, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. That was absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend you folks play it if you get the chance. But I can definitely say, folks, I definitely enjoyed it. If you have a PS5, I would highly recommend you pick it up. No, but with all that said, folks, I uh, just want to say a big thanks to everyone for watching. That's pretty much about it for today's video, folks. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I'm Ratchet. Sorry for the jostling around earlier. Things aren't exactly going well.